There have been 862 episodes of Doctor Who broadcast to date. My mission, for every single one, say something nice. Hello dear viewers and welcome back to another episode of Say Something Nice. It's time to jump forward 18 years, but also sort of back 10 for Delta and the Bannermen Part 2. Delta and the Bannermen Part 2 got 5.1 million viewers. And the moment I'm going to pick out for this is a moment that some other people think isn't very good, but I think it's excellent. And it's the build-up to the cliffhanger. And it is particularly when the Doctor confronts Gavrock. This is Sylvester McCoy's Doctor's first sort of really angry, heroic speech. And... I know a lot of people don't like it, but I think he absolutely nails it. I think what makes it so strong is that the Doctor doesn't just object to Gavrock because Gavrock is aggressive. He objects to Gavrock because all Gavrock does is take life. We've already seen him kill so many people in this story. And it's the fact that Gavrock is offering the Doctor his own life, you know, I will let you live if you go away. And the Doctor says, you don't know anything about life because you only kill people and that's going to be your downfall. It's a really powerful message for what the Doctor stands against. The Doctor doesn't necessarily just stand against evil, he stands for life. And in a way, what you stand for is just as important, if not even more important, than what you stand against. And that's something that really comes to the fore for the Seventh Doctor in this episode and will permeate so much of the rest of his era that he's not just fighting evil, but he's fighting to free people. Even in some of his more manipulative stories like The Curse of Fenric, he's not just trying to destroy Fenric, he's trying to lift the curse as well, the curse that has affected these people that came from this village. But it all starts here. Even in Time and the Rani, it's kind of the Doctor going through the motions and doing what the Doctor does, freeing and oppressed people, etc, etc. But he never really lectures the Rani about life, you know. He says she's contemptuous about it, but that's about it. Delta and the Bannerman, for a lot of people, is when we start seeing the true Seventh Doctor. His sort of awkwardness and just these flashes of anger. But I think what underpins it so well and makes it Sylvester's own is when he's walking away and he's grabbed Mel and Burton and he's escorting them and the Bannermen all cock their guns and he just says quietly, I think I went a little bit too far. Because the Doctor is fundamentally a good person. The Doctor doesn't like being angry. The Doctor wants to have a good time and he wants everyone to get along. So when he's angry, he has to really put it on. And it can vanish just as quickly with his friends and he realises maybe this didn't work. It's such a great moment. It's a defining moment for this characterisation of the Doctor. And that's why I think the Doctor's speech to Gavrock about the value of life and how it will defeat death is something really nice about Delta and the Bannermen Part 2. As always, thank you at home for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe, but above all, take care of yourselves. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video.